So one important thing to note about uh, any shape that you create in Illustrator is that there is a stroke, the outline or the outside border of a shape, and then there's a fill. There's an inside of the shape. So just remember that there's a stroke, and then there's the fill, the inside and the outside. And so there's many different ways that you can actually change the stroke and the fill in Illustrator, and I'll show you all the different areas that you can do that. The first way is you can go to your toolbar here on the side, and if you go down towards the bottom, you'll see the area where you can change color. And so here's the fill for the inside of the shape, and then here's the stroke for the outside of the shape. So you can double click. So first you select your object actually, or whichever shape you want to change. And then you double click this fill, and the color pickle will pop up, and then you can use your mouse to select the color that you want to pick. Or you can actually type in the values here in these areas. So once you know your color, you just hit OK. And there is your fill color. How about the outside, the stroke? Same thing. Go over here to your toolbar, but instead hit the stroke. Click that, it will come to the forefront, and now you know you're changing the stroke. So double click that. And now you can select any color that you like. Let's pick a contrasting color and then hit OK. And as you can see, that stroke has been applied to this square. So where else can we do this? Well, we can also do it in this control panel up here. Up in the control panel, there's also an area where you can change the fill And it actually pops up some swatches here, and you can click on those, and you can change the stroke. So that's kind of a fast and simple way to also change your stroke and fill. Where else can I find this? Well, I can find this in the color panel. There's actually a panel that you can find by going to Window and Color, and you can pull that panel out. And here again, you can change the fill by double clicking that box and changing that. And you can change the stroke by clicking that stroke uh, option. It'll come to the forefront and then double clicking that. And you can also do this by changing the sliders here in the color panel or you can use this eyedropper tool to also change the colors. So there's no right or wrong way, it's really the way that you're comfortable with. Another cool thing is that you can actually switch between the stroke and the fill. So if I wanted the fill to be blue and the stroke to be green instead, I could just click this swap fill and stroke arrow and it'll swap it for me. I can do the same thing over here in the toolbar. Another way I can change the stroke in the fill color of a shape is using the swatches panel. So here's the swatches panel. And again, you can find this from window, go down to the swatches and pick that out. And same exact thing. I'm just gonna change uh, my swatches by clicking on fill or stroke. So pretty cool. Now I'll just do one more example here for you with this star. And again, I can either double click the uh, stroke or panel or I could just choose a swatch. And it has been applied. The strokes are pretty thin right now, but they are there. All right, what other interesting things can we do to fill in these shapes with color? Well, we can also add different types of uh, fills like gradients. So there's actually a gradient swatch here in the swatches panel, and we can add these to our shapes. And we can also make our own gradient too, but we'll talk about that in a different video. You can also add cool patterns. And you can also create your own patterns as well. You can also access many, many other 
swatch options in the swatches panel. And if you go here to the corner in this menu, it says swatch li libraries menu. You click that and there's all these different options of swatches that you can pick from. So there's the color books. These are actually the different Pantone colors that you can access. There are food colors, so ice cream. This is a color palette that reminds you of ice cream colors. So you can utilize these types of swatches on your colors. There's all different kinds of things. There's patterns, there's metallic colors. So really cool things that you can access from the panel, from the swatches uh, library. And then I'll just do one more. Let's try scientific, split complementary. So here are some split complementary colors that I can apply to my star. So as you can see, the sky is the limit to how many colors you can add to your different shapes. And as we continue to explore Illustrator, you can see how you can add different gradients, solid colors, color swatches and patterns to your shapes.